Get ready to laugh with stand-up comedian Andy Haynes. He's performing at the Punchline all weekend. He's here to chat about his career and upcoming shows. Thanks for being here, Andy. Thanks so much for having me. This is great. Thanks. Yes, I'm so excited to have you here. First and foremost, happy birthday. Yeah, it is my birthday. Who's which... sending you to work on your birthday? I, this industry. <laughs> uh, no, it's crazy because you guys showed the thing about 7-Eleven Day. Yeah. For the longest time, I thought I, as a kid, I thought I was the only one that got free Slurpees. Yeah. And then I found out it was everybody got free. I was so mad. You're like, wait a second. This is like my honorary birthday thing. Yeah, like I thought we had a connection, 7-Eleven. Yeah. I don't know what this giving it to Were your parents just every... telling you, hey, we're getting you a free birthday, free Slurpee today? No, I was, a, I was like a latchkey kid. So I was like just wandering around out there. I was loose in the wild. You just went to the corner to get yeah, your Slurpee. Yeah, and I walked down to that. And it was the one day that I didn't have to pay whatever, 79 cents or something. I'm yeah. aging myself, but it was... Slurpees have never I wonder been. what they are now, actually. I need to check the price on that. Yeah, if somebody could just tweet at us <laughs> with the, the current price of a... Yeah, well, seven... happy birthday. Thanks for spending it Thank with you. us. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's nice. You're a new dad. I am, yeah. Nine nine months ago, I uh, my wife, not me, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, my wife gave birth to a little girl. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. How has she changed you now? Uh, well, I don't value sleep or um, just like material needs anymore, mm -hmm. food, any of that. Like yeah. I'm just, you know. How do you, how are you able to not value sleep? I wanna get there. Cause I think even if I don't have any kids, but if I wasn't able to sleep, I would still value it. Well, I would just miss it. I misquoted, I, I, I said that wrong, which is I don't sleep anymore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love sleep, but I'll, I never do it anymore. You know, I was like yeah. the anxious guy. I was like standing over the crib, yeah. you know, doing the, is she breathing? Has she made you a little softer as a, as a human being? I think so, yeah. She's made me a better singer. Oh. Not that I would ever sing publicly, yeah. but uh, because I have to sing to her so often, mm -hmm. it's just like, I, I guess I got the vocal range now. Yeah. To, a little more tone. Maybe you'll bring it out on, on stage one day in one of your performances. Maybe I'll be the next <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. This, maybe. This could maybe. happen. Well, let's talk about your career in comedy. You know, how'd you first get started? So I'm from Seattle, and uh, I just um, wanted to do something performance and kind of political, too. And I saw a DVD of a comic that was political and just doing... I'd been, like, a summer camp counselor. I'd done a bunch of, like, summer camp skits and things yeah. like that. And then this is oddly full circle, I was like in a coffee shop in my college town and Robin Williams walked in. Wow. And this is, I've just been doing comedy for like three months at this point. And I said, I just started comedy, where, where do I have to go? And he said, go to San Francisco. Oh and um, I couldn't afford to live here at the time, so <laughs> I still can't. But I was gonna say, I don't, I don't know how anyone can afford it. It's crazy. Yeah, definitely. Um, wow, such a full circle moment. Uh -huh. So you'll be at Punchline this weekend. You did make it to San Francisco. I'm here. Yeah, temporarily. Yeah. Tell me about your shows. Uh, just doing a new hour of comedy. I, I taped an hour a couple years ago at the Punchline, and then I've kind of been in between uh, doing different jobs and then also having the kid. It was kind of like a readjustment and everything. Mm -hmm. And so now I got a new hour about being a dad that's coming together. It's kind of like 75% um, new, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, what are some of the topics that you touch on? Oh man, well right now I got to talk about my wife being pregnant a lot and then just the fear of having a newborn because mm -hmm. did you know we're the only animals that aren't born ready to go? What do you mean? Like every other animal, for, I think for the most part, every other animal, they fall out of their mom or whatever. Maybe they get pushed. And then uh, they can walk and eat and do things like that. Humans, like, our brains got too big. And so we didn't, <laughs> we, we aren't ready. Like, we had to come out, but we aren't ready to be out. We have this period of needing to It's be called the fourth for. trimester. Okay. That's what I've learned in the in birthing all the books, books. The baby books. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an authority on that stuff now. Amazing. I love it. Okay, well what are you most looking forward to being here back in San Francisco at Punchline? What do you love about it? I want to go to Taqueria Pancha Villa. Mm -hmm. Uh I want to get some Phil's coffee. Yep. Um maybe some ice cream and then just walking. Just tons of walking, Golden Gate Park. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get hit by one of those Waymark, Waymo cars. <laughs> I would love, that seems like a great retirement plan for me right now. So I, I keep on seeing them and I'm lurching and then they stop. So they're too good, but we'll see. That's kind of my, my goals. 
this weekend. Good goals. You know what? <laughs> it is clear out, so the good part about that is walking around. Um, you'll get to enjoy some nice weather because it's yeah. not going to be cold. But the Waymo might be able to see you better. I know. I need like a rainy day for the Waymo uh, <laughs> con that I have planned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Waymos are they freak me out every time still so i don't yeah. know like just i don't know if i'm have you done it no are you comfortable being in a car without a driver well it doesn't matter if i'm comfortable because if something happens i'm rich you know what i mean so, <laughs> so you're gonna take all the chances yeah i'm gonna try to i'm gonna i, I want it to rain and that the roads are all slick and that's when i call my first waymo and then i'm trying to distract the driver the whole yeah, time. yeah yeah okay well good luck let me know how it goes <laughs> um for anyone that hasn't seen your shows, what can they expect? Uh, I hope to laugh. I mean, that would be the main thing. Just have a good time. Uh, I'm pretty conversational, so like I go into the audience and I talk to people. Um, but the, for the most part, yeah, just laughter. I mean, that's the goal, right? Yeah. I'm... You're not going to learn anything. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think there's anything of value. Well, you value. might have something to share about being a new dad. You can give them some insight there. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you that. I can tell you about being a new dad. Um, I can tell you about New York. You know, I live in New York City, so that's, um, there's lots of jokes about that. And but not been... really anything else. Mostly, we just hope they laugh. That's, yeah, I don't want you to take anything away from it other than you relaxed for one night. <laughs> okay, good. Well, yeah. let's remind everyone where you're performing times. Where can they get tickets? I'm at the Punchline on, I think, Battery Street down here in the fi Financial. I don't even know Just what this neighborhood. Just Google it. Just go to the Punchline tonight at 8 and then two shows tomorrow and Saturday night. All right. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. I hope you have so much fun. Enjoy San Francisco while you're here. Thank and you very birthday. much. Happy birthday. Thanks again for spending it with us. And see me underneath a Waymo. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Bye, guys.